And Colorado's former state attorney general, current Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers, says Gardner and others are totally off base in their protest of Jeff Sessions' policy reversal. Southers spoke exclusively with our Zach Saxton for this story you'll only see on News 5, Zach. Well, Southers says he just doesn't understand the how dare you mentality of Senator Gardner and other Colorado lawmakers toward Jeff Sessions. For, for Southers, federal law is black and white, no matter what states like Colorado decide to do. I think Sessions properly placed the burden on Congress to change the law if they don't like it. John William Southers. John Southers has never been shy about his opposition to legalized marijuana. Personal feelings aside, though, Colorado's former top prosecutor says this is Civics 101. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is right to rescind the Obama-era relaxation of federal pot enforcement. What the Obama administration did is say we as the executive branch are going to prohibit our prosecutors from enforcing laws passed by Congress. And Sessions says, no, that's not where, where our system works. Southers points to a 2005 Supreme Court ruling in the case of Gonzalez versus Reich. You can talk about states' rights all you want. That's been settled by the Supreme Court. The federal government has the right to enforce their federal marijuana laws, even in states like Colorado that have legalized it. Southers says he's not surprised there was no progress Wednesday in talks between Sessions and fellow Republican Senator Cory Gardner. I think what happened was the Attorney General reiterated, uh, hey, Senator Gardner, you're asking me to order my department not to enforce the laws you passed. That's not how it works. You pass laws, we enforce them. If you don't want us to enforce the law, change the law. Southers himself called Gardner, urging him to back off the Attorney General. I had a conversation uh, immediately after he made his statement on the floor and uh, suggested uh, that he ought to analyze this more as a lawyer uh, than as a politician. He says since then he hasn't heard from Gardner. Now on a side note, Souther says he hopes that California's legalization of recreational pot will help reduce black market production in Colorado and also redistribute some of the transients and homeless he says have come to Colorado just for access to legal weed. 